So, when you made the uh, project school, um, what was it uh, uh, like? What was it like making the project school? Oh, and it was like a dream come true for me because I, I was able to find, I was actually asked by other teachers to come and talk with them about what a school of our dreams would look like if it was, and if it was based on what we really believe is best for children and best for students. And so I found people who shared my beliefs and then together we created the school, the school of our dreams. So it was exhilarating, it was thrilling, and it was um, very, the most meaningful work I've ever done. Uh, I think that my favorite part was when we did the lottery because for a long time we were imagining the school and dreaming of the school but we had no kids in the school and so once we did the lottery and we saw how many people wanted to come to our school and we started seeing real names of kids that were going to be here it made it all seem like it was a real thing all of a sudden instead of just a dream they were going to be real kids coming to our school. different from like other schools, you know. See, we have passion and we have different things in other schools that are like awesome. So what is your favorite thing that's been done here at the project school? My favorite thing that's been done at the project school is that we were able to attract kids from all different kinds of backgrounds, from all different kinds of neighborhoods, from different cultures, from different countries. We had a dream of a school of a, as a place where kids could learn together and play together and really like each other across their differences, across it, be, it, beside not being concerned that they come from different economic backgrounds or come from different races, that we could play and learn together as human beings. And I really believe we've accomplished that and have attracted so many different types of kids from different communities that I'm, I'm just thrilled that we have the, the students that we have here. Mr. Daniel said to ask this, how hard is it to become a public school? Oh my gosh, it is so hard and it's so much harder than I ever thought it would be when I first started it. But the, the thing that is good about becoming a public school is it means that it's open to everyone and that's why we did it. We didn't want it to be only available to people who had money or who lived in a certain area. And so we, we felt really passionate about it being a public school, but in order to be a public school you have to 
um, sort of go along with certain government standards and do certain things like eye step testing, and you have to get the approval of a lot of people. We had to convince a huge board of people that we were capable of producing a school, and then we had to convince our community. And that was, that was really hard because we were the first charter school in Monroe County and we're the first school created by teachers ever. Usually the people who create charter schools are people who um, do it for their job. They do it for a living, like they are business people or educational consultants and that's their full-time job. And we were all full-time teachers, so we were teaching all day long in our classrooms and then we were creating a school at night after we were done with all of our teaching work. So it, was, it took three years of almost non-stop work, but we wouldn't have done it any other way because we believed so strongly in having it be open to everyone. If it wasn't open to anyone, then I don't think there would have been any point. I mean, it is kind of the point of the Crosley School. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like our mission was to end the predictive value of race, class, gender, and if we were going to only open it to a certain group of people, then we were just going to be recreating things that have made things unfair for people throughout history. It's like what we've been talking about in P3, about certain stereotypes of different groups of people, and there have been stereotypes in education, too. What's your favorite uh, difference between the Brazil school and the other school to teach that? Well, I think my favorite thing about the project school is kids have much more say and much more voice than other schools that I've been at and have the opportunity to make change and do it in a positive way. Um, I know building it was actually a bit of a challenge. Um, could you tell us uh, more about that, I guess? Yeah. Owen, you're right. It was a challenge. Are you, are you thinking actually getting the building or actually starting a new public school? Um, I'm, I would probably be thinking of more of the fact that you guys have to Get, it, get the building already, yep, getting everything. Yep. Well, the challenge there is is that most public schools get public funding from taxes to build schools and have school buildings. But because we're a public charter school, the law in Indiana doesn't give us any money for facilities at all. No money for buildings, no money for uh, construction. So we had to raise that money privately, not from the government, but from people who cared about what we're doing and people who really believed in what we were doing. So the, so the challenge was raising the amount of money we need to create the kind of building that we believe would be good for our children, our students, and um, be able to do it quickly enough to open up on time. So that was the challenge last year we're starting this school. And this year we have the same challenge because we're, we're increasing the size of the school by, by about 80%. It's gonna be, we have 13,000 square feet now, and we're going to move to um, 22,000 square feet. And we're only adding 36 new kids. So we're going to have a lot more space for everybody. But we, need to, we needed to raise the funds in time so that we can get the construction started on time so we can open up next year. So that was a, that's a huge challenge. What was the uh, most fun part about building the uh, project school when you were first building it? I think one of the coolest things was when we knew the building, we knew the location, and we first started walking through the school, and they started putting up walls and things like that to finally see the spaces being created. That was pretty cool. So that was probably my favorite part. Activity always gets you up and moving and 
it just makes him more active, so he'll be more alert. More fun, you know. Um, like, it's, it's they don't lay back. Like they're not pressuring you to do yeah. anything. They like yeah, like they give you like packets so you can work on a paper like each day and instead of like just two packets all at once. Like, all at once. So, like they spend more time on one subject, so you weren't like ah no no I didn't get that. And, like they give you like three days instead of one. Day. Yeah, I never did. That. And you get like catch up time and stuff. Yeah, and just group that awesome. fit your abilities. So that you were doing stuff. Yeah. Which I really like because at, at my old school it was just like, quit swimming in. It was just like all this stuff that you just learned together as a class, whether it was at your level or not. So that was really hard for me. And yeah. so I, that's why I really like the I program agree here. We went to the same yeah. yeah. So um, coming up or about so that we know if you already know it and you can demonstrate that, yep. Subtraction, multiple numbers, I've got it. Place value, totally understand it. Estimation, rounding, done. Multiplication, all that kind of stuff. So you let us know by doing your best work, putting question marks if there's something that you are honestly, genuinely not sure of. And what we're gonna be doing while you're taking it, you might notice us taking some notes because one of the things that we want to make sure that we notice is not just how that you got an answer, whether you got the right or wrong answer, but what strategies do you have? What do they do to make fun? Well, in my old school, they chose the topic for us. We didn't get a right something like that. Like, just like I don't know what they chose the topic. Like you got that topic, you got that topic, and that topic. Once upon a time, Thaler lived a dang gone hillbiller, and he just haterated those dang hippie kids getting his stupid expired food. So, huh? Which pizza are you like? How's it going for you? Fun, and um, I just want to do more P3 because it's fun. And you get to talk about science and more other stuff. The stereotypes and the problems and places that we see in the stereotyping. And then we made this huge list of ways to take action. I mean, yeah, it's a lot different in different schools because, well, my old school, we didn't have to walk two blocks to get to a, a playground. And so what's it really like at recess? Like when you're at recess, what happens? Well, it's pretty, um, let's see, hectic. Uh, What do you think about passions? Great. Have anything to say about it? Well, because you have to work with stuff like that. So, with the kind of 
of um, weird for you when all of a sudden I started bringing cameras to school and making a documentary? I think I was really, I was always really excited about it, and I've never had a student who's done a documentary in my class before. I've had IU professors videotape my, my teaching in the past, but I've never had someone like with a handheld camera, like moving around and following my every move and getting really close to my face. And so that took some getting used to, like for a long time, I think I was more self-conscious, like, oh my gosh, he's taping me right now, what am I saying, what do I look like, oh my gosh. And I think after a while I got used to it, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because sometimes I was, I noticed after the fact that you were videotaping and I was... Um. Okay, so apparently this thing is on. So, um, I'm going to read my polygon poem that I wrote, and I did not steal from somebody else's poetry book. It's completely mine. I did not steal it at all. It's completely genuine, totally mine. Congratulations, you stayed through all that boring credit stuff, so you're 